Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how to create a crow foot database notation diagram. So basically on the screen there, I've got two very simple tables with a link between a primary key and a foreign field. So you can see how that works on the structure and the data types listed. Now I want to do that, I'll repeat this on a second page. So let's create a second page. So all you have to do is you've got two options there. You've got an entity and you've got an entity with attributes, which basically gives you the data type that you want to use. So I'm going to get rid of this one. However, before I get rid of this, and if I right click on that, you've got the option of adding that. So it ends up being the same as this. So it's up to you, but uh, I'm just going to delete that one off. And then I'll bring this onto the screen and just make my screen a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm going to do. So let's say this is going to be the TBL staff details like so. And then you've got your field. So the first one is going to be the primary key. So that's going to be staff ID. And it is down as an integer, which is OK. And then we go through the fields. So staff name, if I'll just put first name. And surname. And again, both of these are going to be TXT fields. TXT. And then obviously this is now limited. We need to add some um, extra boxes. So drag that shape in and it automatically snaps into place. And I'll just bring a couple across so you can see how this works. Let that fill in. So first name, surname, let's do address. Spell it right. And city and postcode. That'll do for this. And then what we want to do is um, put all these to text. These are all text fields. TXT, TXT, and TXT. And then we need to create a second entity. So I'll go for that one. And this is going to be TBL departments. I'll put debt. So we're going to have um, debt ID. That can be the primary key. And then we need a that's going to be integrate. We need this field so we can link the two together. So it's going to be staff ID. This is going to be also an integrate. That's OK. And then we want, for example, let's say we want to the, know where the location of these people are. So what building are they in? So that's going to be text. And I need another attribute. Building and then location within that building. Location. Text again, TXT, like so. Now, when you click on these and right click, you do get these options to set a key. Uh, so by default, this is the key, which is OK. That's how I want it. But now I need to do a relationship. So I've got a relationship um, option on the stencil. So I'll just basically bring that onto the screen. So there's that to there, and it goes to staff ID. So that's the relationship symbol, and you can see it sitting there like so. Now, when you right-click on different elements, you get different options. And if you right-click on the whole thing, you don't get the same types of options. But basically, this is how you can set up a crossfoot database uh, diagram um, and see how your database sits. That needs to be lock to that you see how your database sits so that stays with it and how the flow of the database is so when you do relationships for example in an access database it automatically creates this type of link and let's keep that one together are we keeping it together yeah okay no we're not so there's a link not going right there so i want it to link let's go to that field so I move this away, that stays, move that away, that stays, okay. Shape, shape to shape. 
yeah, shape to shape. Okay, so this is um, how your Access Database would display stuff if you did a database and uh, looked at the database relationship window. It would display it like this. So this is just doing using Visio to do exactly the same, give a, a, an idea of how the database is going to be structured. So hopefully that was of use to you. Um, thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.